Yesterday we had a media brief at the AG's office on matters regarding recovery at Kwale Dam site. So today, as I indicated to you yesterday, we gave ourselves around 21 days to do the job. Today we are grateful to let you know that uh, we have some discoveries in furtherance to that investigation. So further to our media brief yesterday regarding the murder cases reported at Kuale, we wish to inform the members of the public that we have made good progress. Today, early this morning, at around 1, we arrested the prime suspect named Collins Jumaisi Harucha. We did recover, yesterday we did recover one more body, bringing the total to nine bodies recovered so far. The post-mortem examinations are happening today. We call upon any member of public with information that may aid the police in identifying the bodies or those who have cases of their missing persons to report to the DCI headquarters or the nearest police station. With respect to the, to the very Kenyans, who have lost their loved ones through this tragedy, we wish to give our reassurance that we are working tirelessly to conclude these investigations. We thank the members of the public who continue to assist us in the search process and continue to appeal to the public to remain calm and give officers space to handling the scene. Uh, our DCI, Mr. Amin, is going to come forward and give a detailed analysis of what we have so far done. Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to uh, welcome you to DCI headquarters. And uh, we are very sorry for keeping you guys for quite some time. In our relentless efforts to deliver justice to the quarry dumping site matters, and for us to give closure to the devastated families, we have this morning arrested the prime suspect, already identified to you guys by the Acting Inspector General, known as uh, Collings Jumaisa Halusha, 33 years old. The suspect was arrested at uh, Soweto in Kayole sub-county this morning at around 3 a.m. in a joint operation by the DCI and the National Police Service officers. He was arrested outside a club where he had gone to watch the Europe 2024 football finals. His pursuit and subsequent arrest followed a very thorough forensic analysis of a mobile phone that belonged to one of the victims, namely Josephine Mulongo Owino, where some mobile money transactions were conducted on the very, very day uh, Josephine went missing. Upon arrest of the suspect, he led our officers to his single room rental house in Kware, which is located about 100 meters from the crime scene. That is the Kware Dam, where the bodies and the body parts have been recovered. We conducted a quick search in the house, which led to recovery of the following very, very crucial exhibits. We were able to recover 24 Airtel SIM card holder, holders with the new SIM cards. 
eight smartphones and two feature phones, one laptop and one hard drive, two flash drives and a memory card, one machete that we believed was being used to dismember uh, the victims, 12 nylon sacks that we are going to show you guys uh, very shortly, similar to the ones that were being used to stuff the bodies at the quarry dam. One pair of industrial uh, rubber gloves, six national identification cards uh, for men, and two ID cards for women. One pink female handbag, two pink female panties, five rolls of cannabis sativa, four huge clear sellotapes, some of which were recovered at the scene. So these ones are similar to those ones recovered from the scene. We also recovered one reflector jacket, two title deeds, two notebooks, and assorted documents. On interrogation, the suspect confessed to have lured, killed, and disposed 42 female bodies at the dumping site, all murdered between 2022 and as recent as last day, 11th of July, 2024. Unfortunately, and this is very sad, the suspect alleged that his fact, the first victim was his wife, namely Imelda Judith Halenya whom he struggled to death before dismembering her body and disposing it at the same site. From, his in, from our interrogation, all his victims have been murdered in the same style, like uh, we had alluded to uh, yesterday. Our investigations are still ongoing, and the suspect's house and the dumping site will remain active crime scenes. Just like the acting inspector general has said, we call upon the families who reasonably believe that their loved ones may have fallen prey to these Makapa murders, to these reprehensible acts of what I can only call a vampire to report to our DCI headquarters or to any other DCI office or the nearest police station for that matter. As the DCI, we wish to reiterate our commitment to expediting this investigation, just like I said yesterday, for us to deliver quick justice to the victims of this horrendous crime. Gentlemen, like I said yesterday, we posited several theories that we were looking at. But from the look of things, it is crystallizing that we are dealing with a serial killer, a psychopathic serial killer who has no respect for human life. A psychopathic serial killer who has no respect and dignity for the deceased persons. In our interrogation, and very sad indeed, he confessed to us that with some of the victims he was able to have carnal knowledge with some of the victims. A very, very sad state of affairs. As we were apprehending him last night, 
or even this morning, he was in the process of luring another victim by the name Susan. We are yet to identify, I'm sure as we progress with investigations, we should be able to get hold of Susan so that she will be able to give us her, her side of the story. Otherwise, we are dealing with a, a vampire, a psychopath. We shall uh, make sure that the investigations are very thorough, very, very professional. Any other character or characters who are associated with him, we shall go for them. And immediately we are done with the investigations, he will be taken to court to face the full force of the law. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I will invite my director of operations, Mr. Maura, to briefly give you a highlight and take you through what we have recovered, and thereafter we will be able to answer one or two questions. Thank you.